Hello YouTube. Thought I would make a uh, pipe video. A uh, long time since I last made a video about pipe smoking, but I have been smoking my pipe. And um, basically this is just to uh, recap my first year as a pipe smoker, 2016. And what my tastes were, and how they developed, and uh, what I smoked. So, let's get into it. Um, well, the first thing that I ever bought was a... Um, I don't have it here anymore because I didn't like it. Mac Baron Virginia, the modern Virginia, the tin. That one, and then uh, also H H H Old Dark Fired Mac Baron stuff. So, I don't know, the, the, uh, the vanilla was a kind of a, you know, everything, everybody smokes vanilla the first time, because who doesn't like vanilla? Uh, for me, the experience ended when um, I was smoking my pipe uh, fairly regularly, regularly, on a daily basis, and um, didn't know that much about pipe cleaning, and the vanilla tended to smoke pretty wet and um, hence gurgling in the pipe and um, not cleaning the pipe properly led to the situation that, oh, what's that horrible smell emanating from the bookcase where I kept all my pipes? Well, it was the sour pipe that was still rich with uh, <laughs> vanilla f flavorings and uh, my saliva and whatnot. Uh, and that was like staying in the pipe and I didn't really clean it that properly. So it was like, oh, I didn't know this. The pipes smell this bad after smoking them. Uh, but that was the reason. Too wet a, a smoke and I couldn't control it. So hey, no harm, no foul. That was out the window. No more MacBaron vanilla. Uh, the next thing I tried was actually turned out to be a good favorite um, of mine. Let me just get a tin. I have a few tins here now that I have gathered over the year of something that I like. Here we go. Uh, Dunhill's Aperitif. So, um, I believe this is an English blend. So no casing at all, and this was just tobacco. It has a lot of Kia, um, Virginia, Cavendish, Burley? No, I'm not going to guess anymore. I, you people can look it up. Um, but yes, I smoked this, and I really liked this one uh, from the Dunhill line. And the only reason that I got this, this is not the tin, this is a sealed tin. So I smoked the first one. Um, the only reason that I got Dunhill was because I remembered way back in the day when my uh, mother used to smoke cigarettes. Bad. Um, and she preferred Dunhill uh, as a uh, manufacturer. Uh, and that was just, okay, I knew that Dunhill made cigarettes and I found out that they make pipe tobacco. So, give it a try. It might be good. If the cigarettes were good, I didn't try them. I didn't try them. I was a teenager. Uh, but yes, I tried that specific blend, blend, and I really enjoyed this. So I smoked the whole tin, and uh, and was very pleased. I didn't. I I learned how to clean my pipes, so to speak, <laughs> and. Uh, no more, no more stinky spike pipe syndromes. Although um, I did have to start putting my pipes outside now that we moved to a new place because the uh, the pipes that I had inside, whoops, in my cupboard, were starting to smell because I have a lot of pipes now compared to that time. Seven pipes, I think, seven or eight pipes, um, and they do me just great. But, yeah. So, onward with the list. The next thing that I liked, um, I don't have it here, uh, Peterson's Old Dublin. 
That was the next thing I tried, and it was pretty good. Pretty good. I smoked that quite a bit, and, uh, well, I smoked the, the uh, tin in that case as well. The tins last, last me quite a bit because, um, as a new pipe smoker, I smoked maybe one bowl a day, and then during the week, maybe three, four times a week. So not that much. So the tins tended to last me quite a bit, and they still do. Um, let's see. What was up after Dublin? Uh, well, this stuff, which is... Davidoff's Royalty. Now, this was recommended to me by my local tobacconist. And uh, I tried it, and it's a very good, um, kind of a mild, maybe a little too much on the Perique side, um, English blend. Has a lot of Kia, has Virginia. And I think it has a little bit of Perique, because it's still the pepperiness there. Um, I usually smoke a bowl every now and then. Uh, less now than then. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. And it's, I don't know, I have it aging on and off. So I open the, open the lid every now and then. So it's kind of not aging, but there's something happening there anyway. Um, and now the next thing I tried was uh, my own blends cherry. I liked this. Um, I had a hundred, hundred gram tin of this. Now, this is what is left of the cherry. I, I, it's cherry tobacco, so it's okay. I like cherry tobacco, but um, I don't know. It tended to be um, three and a half out of uh, out of five stars for me to use a rating curve. So, you know. I just kept it, and I smoke it if I if I like it if I if I'm in the mood. Um, well, towards the end of the year, we started to. I have a, I have a friend, I found out uh, who actually also smokes pipes, and we were just like he lives in Luxembourg and he visits Finland every now and then. I was like, ooh, well, what kind of blends do you have over there? Why don't you bring me a couple of tins or whatnot? So we started having our own kind of blend club, if you will, of different MacBaron stuff, uh, Samuel Gaweth stuff, um, mainly those two manufacturers, but uh, they have a lot of blends, and some of the blends are available over there that I can't get to. Uh, so, hey, we started doing that. Um, let me just grab a couple here. Golden Blend. Yes, Golden Blend, uh, Golden Extra. In the States, I believe. I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, Burley-based tobacco. Pretty good. And uh, Plum Cake. Yeah, Plum Cake was a big, big favorite of mine. And then, um, also, the tobacco that really got me my first um, perfect smoke, really perfect smoke, um, was strangely enough, this tobacco, Commonwealth from Samuel Gaweth. And I think I have a tin or five here. Yes, here we go. Commonwealth. This was something that I, I uh, hoarded during the holidays, Christmas, this was something like I told my guy who was coming from Luxembourg, was like, okay, if you can bring me uh, whatever amount of tins of Commonwealth you can, I'll buy them. So he brought me four. I bought them all. So yeah, they are sitting out there. Here's three, and that's the fourth one that's opened up. <sighs> okay, so pretty much the first year of pipe smoking was uh, English-oriented. Go figure. I had some aromatics that I liked. For example, this one. Unopened. Amphora. Amphora. Full aroma. 
Um, really nice. But it has uh, chocolate and vanilla and whatnot flavorings. And I think it's made of Virginia's and Cavendish. Or only Cavendish. Might have been only Cavendish. Anyway. Um, yeah. That was the first year of pipe smoking for me. Mainly English tobaccos. Which was somewhat um, non-conventional from your uh, basic vanilla stuff that you would smoke for a year before advancing. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, the aromatics didn't hold that much interest to me. Once I got into the English side of things, um, I really could appreciate more the, the full roundness of the taste that I was getting from the smokes. And I could just sit around for a good half hour uh, just smoking a pipe with the English blends. Um, for this year, I have uh, started to notice that I am gravitating towards Virginia-based tobaccos more and more. Yes, the English uh, blends are fading to the background, not so much. Um, and I'm picking up more and more Virginia stuff. Like, for instance, right now, I am enjoying some McBaron's Harmony. Now, I can't seem to be able to get uh, tins of Harmony anywhere else except from my friend who visits now and then. Uh, but that's okay. I don't want to over-exaggerate my, or no, not over-exaggerate, exaggerate, but, um, saturate. Yes, over-saturate my, my, uh, my tastes with that tobacco, because I like it so much, I just smoke every now and then, like a half a bowl or one bowl, just to keep it fresh. But yeah, Virginia tobaccos are, are coming up this year. And, uh, cool. I think that's it. For the first year, it was English tobaccos, and English tobaccos are still a good uh, mainstay for me. But this year, we will be going into Virginia territory, more like this, and like that stuff, and this stuff. And I'm actually going to Denmark come this Friday, so I'll probably make a video over there as well. At the Danish Pipe Shop. Uh, but yeah, cool. Other than that, I'm looking forward to smoking my GLP's tobaccos. What happened there? GLP's tobaccos at some point, when I have the chance. Um, there's just too many tobaccos t uh, still in jars that I have. There's like tons and tons of these small ones, and then they, I have uh, the big ones that are filled up. So I'm I'm wanting to do uh, smoke some of them uh, before I open up a new tin. And this way I'll get a chance to age them a little bit as well. So that's always good. I'm looking to age stuff. I can't wait to have my own tins of... of um, 15 to 20 year old Dunhill tobaccos and <laughs> and GLP's rarities from way yonder 2015 looking at this video at 2030 but yeah um cool I think I'll end it uh, at that because we are at the 15 minute mark and we will see you again hopefully for a smoking video over in Denmark land so, cool. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.